The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to the April 27th, a terrific Tuesday edition of today's Trader's Edge show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. We need to make that one little two by four shift. It means we can find a gift in every set of circumstances that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I at just past 1 o'clock in the afternoon. I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But more important than that, that's this. During this next 60 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. You can dial on it at 877-927-6648. If you can't dial it, well, we've got you covered there, too. You can always send me an email, steve at tfnn.com. If you'd be kind enough to put radio show question in that, that subject heading, that'd be great. And of course, our Tigers did well. Any ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Terrific Tuesday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to Less Show. Most of the indices trading the downside, the exceptions being the transports and the New York Stock Exchange. Trend is up 193. New York is up 17. The Dow is off at 48 basically flat. The S&P is off three, basically flat. The NDX 100 is off 50, basically flat. The Russell is flat. It's off 44 pennies out here. You've got gold flat. It's a lot of flats, huh? Uh, silver's not flat. Silver's up eight tenths of a cent, 22 pennies, trading out at 26.43. Lights week grew up nearly 1%, 56 cents, trading at 62.47. The big winner, winner, chicken dinner, the upside is United Parcel. UPS up 18.85, nearly 11%. Novavax up 17 or 7.5%. 7 Restoration Hardware, 14.50. Crocs up 14, that's 17%. Lithium Motors up nearly 4% or 14 buckaroonies. Sam Adams taking it on the chin again today off 31 bucks to 1.5%. percent Tesla's down 28, MedPace Holdings 27, Google 18, Massimo Corp down 15 buckaroonies. Let's begin by taking a look at the S&P 500. So the question that was, in essence, posted in the Tiger's Den from John, and John is doing a uh, analog pattern going back and taking a look at the period of April 26, 2010. And his question is, you know, uh, is our market right now following along that same analog? So if we take a look, so see here we get the uh, 2009 bottom out here. Uh, but let's just take right, right here, right where this cursor is at. Here is April 26, 2010. In essence, yesterday, just many years later. And we're just taking a look to see what kind of patterns were out here. So on a daily time frame, what was triggered on April 26 was that Rhodes Mintum Indicator signal. Now, you didn't get the bearish confirmation of that until the following, until April 30th. April 30th was the first bearish reversal candle that we saw. And then price went ahead and moved lower. And when it made its low out here, this was back in July, July 1st, it was with a TD nine count Rhodes momentum indicator bottom. That's a beautiful. So that's the pattern on the daily time frame. So was there a pattern? Yeah, there was a Rhodes momentum indicator signal. It eventually got confirmed. We were off to the race to the downside. On a weekly time frame, we're going to come back to that same period. In that same period, let me get my cursor out here. April of 2010. Where does this take us to? Where is April of 2010? Where are we at? That's 2011. I believe it's right here. Yeah, okay. So now on a weekly time frame, John, we can see that this formed a TD9 count top. So the week of April 23rd was the bar following bar number nine. We never saw anything. So on the weekly basis, we had a topping pattern. On the daily basis, we had a topping signal. So let's go forward to where we're at right now. We're not going to worry about the monthly time frame. As we go forward, we take a look at the weekly time frame. Remember, on a weekly, there was a TD9 count top. Well, if that's going to be the correlative pattern, John, this is going to be bar number eight of a TD9 count. Interesting. 
Now, of course, bar number nine has to form. That would be next week in order to complete that pattern. And in order for that to happen, price must close next week above 41.2880. And we're at 41.85. So I put that down on your pad of paper. Uh, the TD9 count top may form this week. It could be next week or it could be the week after. So we're within this range, so to speak. So the weekly time frame chart says, OK, I've got a potential signal out here. It also uh, and let's go to the daily On the daily chart. Let's fast forward to where we're at today. Remember, on the daily time frame for the S&P 500, there was a Rhodes momentum indicator pattern that had triggered. Fast forward to where we're at today. Well, April 26, 2010 was on April 26, 2010. April 26, 2021 we've got Rhodes momentum indicator signal triggered. So what do you think about that? Probably not much. Here's the deal with regard to the S&P 500. If there is some kind of top where price would pull back to, this is the S&P cash that we're looking at, would be 4095.51. That would be the first downside target. Do we have any type of confirmed bearish reversal candle today? And the answer is no. In order to get that, what we really need is you need to spike above yesterday's high. Yesterday's high, 41.94. We have not done that. Today's high so far is 41.92. Because if price could spike above it, and then we get a red-bodied candle, even if it's just by one penny out there, that would be a key reversal session. So are there similarities between the top that formed in April of 2010 on the daily and weekly basis and the potential of a top here in April in 2021? The answer is yes. But has it proven itself to us? The answer is no. So continue to be on the lookout, which we will. And, uh, and we'll certainly alert you when we see that uh, change in trend signal, should we, in fact, see one. So thanks for uh, asking about that, John, and uh, very interesting to go back and take a look at that. We've got a question that came in yesterday that we did not get to. Uh, came in late. I don't recall. I think it was the golf guy who sent it in who wanted to take a look at JetBlue. So as we take a look at JetBlue, let's begin by looking at the daily time frame. And I think the request was just to take a look at it. At this stage here, JetBlue is just simply consolidating between 1917 and 2160. 1917 is that TD9 breakout level. This formed a bottom uh, four or five days ago with that TD9 count and price did what it was supposed to do, which was move right up to test its first level of resistance. And that's that oscillator and change line. That's, in fact, what took place yesterday. Price is backing it off. So you just have a consolidation from the daily standpoint on JetBlue. If we take a look at the weekly time frame, we've got a TD9 count. If, in fact, price this week can close below 2002, that's the printing that it's at right now, that would suggest that price would move back to 1866, 1559, or even 1404. Now, before it gets back there, we'll see some patterns forming on the uh, daily time frame, such as a close below 1917. That's the level that's already been tested. That's the breakout level. It's been tested and rejected. So a close below 1917, golf guy, is what's going to signal to you that price is getting ready to move back to 1866, 1559, or 1405. So I hope that helps you out. Sorry that we didn't get to it. Actually, the email didn't come in until after we were off the air. Uh, we do have another question that has come in. Let's uh, get this. And, and we don't have anything else lined up after this is. Uh, well, I tell you what, we're going to look at Walmart when we get back from this break here for um, James. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. Give me a call at 877-927-6648. Of course, you can always send me an email, steve at tfnn.com. Please put radio show question in that subject today. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education 
educating investors. If you're not currently using the Taz Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The Taz Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the Task Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Hey there, I'm Andy Arbertine with Tiger Precious Metals and Stones. Whether you're looking to buy and sell precious metals or trying to find the perfect diamond ring, I'm here to help. I have over 15 years of experience with diamonds and precious metals. You can call me directly at 727-329-8245 and I will personally answer any questions you have and help you find exactly what you're looking for. I will be your personal concierge in the metal and stone business. Give me a call today, 727-329-8245. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back. Dow's down 29. S&P's off, too. Let's go take a look at Walmart for James. Uh, James does not have a position. Um, you're not in it. So let's just take a look at Walmart. Right now, Walmart is uh, trading within its daily profile. It tested support yesterday and this morning. It's at 138.04. It's a uh, slightly bullish in structure. So if a if price could close above 139.27, another run for resistance, its highs at 141.12 would be the signal. If price closed below 138.04, it's really 137.07 that you'd be watching, James. 137.07 is the top of the weekly profile. It would be a close below that that would then suggest a retracement into the 128 to 131.67 level. That's what the black background TAS market profile charts tell us. If we look at the white background charts and see what additional information we might be able to glean, and what we can see here is price ran into resistance where it should have in the 140.70 level. That's a TD9 breakdown area. Again, if price gets below the bottom of that profile, you could see a move to its breakout level of 131.63. Not clear whether that is the – that's really not the signal at the moment, but it's not – it's not uh – it's not. It's not. Uh, I don't know what I want to say. It's not. It's not. Uh, well, we don't have that. We don't have that information at the moment. Let's just look at the weekly. I'll figure out what I was going to say. On the weekly time frame chart, we can see a nice rose momentum indicator top at its all time high. So that's a beautiful thing. Price pulls back. Uh, do I see any kind of a bottom here? I don't. We've seen what we have to term at this moment is a counter trend rally up in that oscillator and change line. Now. We don't know whether this is going to be the C point of an A to B equals CD to the downside. We can't call that price above support on its week, weekly time frame. That's the top of its profile. But it's a possibility. Monthly, it's got a TD9 count top. Price is pulled back, test support, bottom of its profile, bounces up to the oscillator on change line. So now how do we put all this together? Well, the weekly and the monthly say price has just bounced up to where a counter trend rally would end. The daily is saying, hey, look, I have struggled to get through resistance at 140.70. And if price, uh, let's look at the 30 minute. Well, let's look at the intraday time period. Let's go to 195. You have two bars during the day, 195 minutes. What do we have here? Rhodes momentum indicator top, no bottom signal. The 130 minute time frame chart. What do we have? Three bars here during the day. Rhodes momentum indicator top, price below profile. Uh, so this is suggesting lower price. So the intraday charts are suggesting a possible lower price. What I would watch is 138.04. Would I enter this trade? No. 
I don't I don't think you need to. We're not getting that type of clear information that, that really that uh, one should. So what I would do is I would set up the following levels, kind of alarm systems. Uh, those the first level that you're watching for is one thirty eight oh four. The second is one thirty seven oh seven. Again, this would be on a pullback. Should we get one? And then if you get that, then that's going to say, OK, get back in touch. Let's go take a look at what's going on in the charts at that point in time. We'll try to make a determination whether or not price is going to get back to its breakout level of 131.63 or not. Um, and we just don't have a clear message right now. So I hope that helps you out. But look, if we don't have a clear message, I'm not going to blow smoke up your skirt, so to speak, out there. And uh, no reason to do that. Uh, no other requests uh, that I see out here. So quiet day. Uh, give us a shout, 877-927-6. Oh, we've got one right here. This one coming in from Marty. Marty says, if you have time, what do the charts tell you about gold and silver long and short term? Well, <laughs> so how are we going to do this? We're going to do this by first clicking on, I suppose, this tab. Here we go. So you're asking, with regard to gold, what's a long-term view? If you look at the very left-hand panel chart, you're going to see gold. And you're going to see a green consolidation area. And price broke through that a couple of weeks ago. And then what that consolidation provides us with, Marty, is that provides us with a measured move. So the longer-term, intermediate-term prognosis right now for gold based upon breaking through the consolidation pattern is that gold should eventually make a move up into the 1840 level. Now, a measured move, when you break through consolidation, that measured move is equal to or greater than. So just because it gets to the 1840 area, should it get to 1840, that doesn't mean that's where it stopped. But that's the current message. There's also a brand new profile it formed yesterday. So on a pullback, and price is sitting right at the point of control. And that means that both buyers and sellers believe there's fair value at 1779 in its current game. Its current game says the board is between 1765 and 1798. Okay, um, so it's sitting here at fair value, not giving much much of a signal. I would think that if gold could pull back to 1765-ish, that would be a buy, or that would be a time to add to maybe positions in the mining sector out there. So that's what gold is telling us. I know you asked about silver, but let's just go take a look at the U.S. dollar index. U.S. dollar index formed a new profile a few days ago. Price today testing and rejecting that level. It closed below its TD9 count bottom at 91.02. This is suggesting that price should pull back to 90.44. Steve-O, how are you going to tell me that the U.S. dollar index is going to pull back to 90.44 and then gold might pull back to 17.65? I didn't really say that. I said it would be an ideal, or I didn't probably didn't use ideal, but a nice buy could be at 1765. Is the U.S. dollar saying that that's where gold is going to go? Not really. If price could get above 90.93, not 90.993, then the answer there would be more likely yes. But we just don't have that signal. Longer term, gold looks like it wants to move higher. Silver completed a Gartley sell pattern. That Gartley cell pattern that formed right here with this dark cloud cover, that was on April 22nd. So it got the bearish reversal signal. You can see the A to B equals CD pattern. Because this was from a move down, a move down from February in 2021, that's why this is a Gartley cell pattern. Now, all Gartley cell patterns typically result in perhaps five different outcomes. This hasn't even gotten close to outcome number one. And outcome number one would be a 0.382 retracement. Silver is above the top of its daily profile at 26.24. So it's really neutral to bullish because it formed the bearish pattern. Price is now above uh, support out here, but you still have that uh, valid topping signal. And the valid topping signal remains until you see it close above 26.76 out there. So short term, no idea what silver is going to do because it's neutral, neutral to bullish. So I hope that helps you out, Marty, with regard to what we see going on inside of uh, gold, silver, and we added the U.S. dollar index. Let's go out to Ron in Denver. Ron, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you? Great, Steve. Uh, first of all, I wanted to compliment you on your call on Apple last week. You said when it went to 132, it was its support and it was going to go higher from there, and it definitely has. <clears throat> Secondly, well, I'd you, like to you, uh, just see if you would look at Viacom, V-I-A-C, uh, is it? Is it? You, you thought if it got above forty-two, it'd be 
maybe something to look at. It seems like it's breaking out with some good volume. Is this is it time to get involved with Viacom, PIAC? Yep. So the forty one sixty one level was the area that Ron and I were talking about last week, and that was the bottom of its uh, that was the top of its daily profile. And so closing above the top of a profile would be the first signal of a change in trend for Viacom, which had that just big, ugly couple of days out there because of the uh, because of that uh, hedge fund that blew up. So your next price target to the upside, or I should say your next resistance level that we see on our black background charts around is going to be 4603. So the signal is right now. That price should move from where we're at, about 42.76 to 46.03. Ron, do me a favor. Hold on through this break, and we'll come back. We'll take a look at my other charts out there. You'll have to make a determination whether there's a trade in there or not for you. But this is Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. Hi, folks. This is Tom O'Brien. The printing presses are working 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The U.S. deficit has risen 200% in one year with no end in sight. The markets are looking for an additional stimulus bill to get us through this once-in-a-generation pandemic. There is no free lunch, folks. The more stimulus dollars put into the marketplace, the less your dollar is worth each and every day. This is the time to protect yourself with a portion of your portfolio in the metal market. The Gold Report comes out each Monday morning. I bisect and dissect the dollar, silver, gold, the XAU, and the HUI. The Gold Report is a long-term hedge against the dilution of your buying power. The U.S. has put more than $6 trillion into the marketplace in the last six months, with more expected in the next few months. The market did and does need the stimulus, but it will have long-term implications on our buying power. The Gold Report comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Go to TFNN.com and order the Gold Report now. Protect your buying power. Order the Gold Report now. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. We're on the line with Ron in Denver, Colorado. We're looking at Viacom. That ticker symbol is V-I-A-C. And one of Ron's questions is, you know, did Viacom bottom? So, Ron, as far as did it bottom, what I can say is that it did not bottom with one of the patterns that I use to identify a bottom. That doesn't mean that it hasn't bottomed. It just means if you're asking me, do I see a pattern uh, that would identify a bottom, the answer is no. So right now we're going to consider this to be more of a trade than, than more of an intermediate term uh, position. All right? Okay. okay. Yeah. I appreciate yeah. that. I, so, uh, to be so, honest, I, I did 
sell some puts and bought calls on it yesterday once it broke 42. Okay. I also bought calls on your Apple when you said it was at 132 at support. So that's that's working out well. Yes. But uh, so I'll so watch Viacom. I appreciate your comments on it, and I'll be yeah, careful so, since you're not yeah, uh, so saying it's not a bottom. I'll watch it very carefully. Sure. 4603 is a target, and that's the bottom of the weekly profile. The daily says 4620 is the target. That'd so, be great. Yeah, and, and I think that's where uh, – now, what, what the 30-minute time frame chart is suggesting is you may see a little bit of a pullback here. And that okay. pullback could take you down to either 4231 or 4124. If it gets down to 4124 and you're still okay in your trade, that might be another place to take a look at because that would be key support on a 30-minute time frame. So right now the short term says, hey, I might pull back a bit out here. But the larger picture says I want to make run for that 4620 level. Now back to Apple for you just real quickly. Uh, let me pull up the charts here because and I appreciate the compliment. It's really the charting system that's doing it. It's the tools that I use. It's not Stevo out here, again, just narrating the chart. And so it's an easy it's easy for me to narrate and tell you where buyers and sellers are. This is kind of like the competitive edge uh, hour out here because we do have a competitive edge that others don't. But you can see 131.30 was the bottom of that profile. What price did today inside of Apple, it hit resistance. That was at 135. 47 and price got to 135.41. So this could just be a consolidation, Ron, here, and you may want to consider taking those profits. Okay, no, I will do that. All righty. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. You bet. You have a great day. Let's go Thank to our you, next sir. caller, and our next caller is Malcolm in San Francisco. Malcolm, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? Very good. Thanks for asking. And I believe it's AT and T that you'd like to take uh, a look at. Tell the folks what you're what you're doing and how I can best help you. Well, I like the income, uh, good dividends, about seven percent, and like to sell calls against it. But uh, it's made a you know met a recent uh, kind of a high volume high. Uh, yes. So it's kind of interesting, and it's coming back down since a, lot, a couple of days ago. So just wonder what the TAS profiles looked like and what the monthly, weekly, well, weekly, monthly, and uh, what your charts show. Sure. Okay. So great questions here. So on the TAS profiles, we're in one of these unique situations. The unique situation is both the center and the bottom are priced the same. Now, what that tells us, Malcolm, is that there is strong support or should be strong support at 29.90. If you see two consecutive close of low, 29.90, um, 29.19, and 27.73 would become those targets. So, And that's the daily profile. The daily profile formed today, and price is above that. When, price form, when, when a profile forms below price, that's a bullish signal. You pointed out that high volume high from a couple of days ago, and high volume highs will typically be tested. That means that 3115 to 3189 should be tested at some point in time inside of AT&T. Profile levels on the weekly basis, the top is 3082, the bottom is 2919, and the center is 2985. So right now, for this week, we're trading with inside that profile. That would suggest pulling back. And then that pullback would say, okay, uh, my target would be 3034, the top of the new profile that just formed today. The monthly supports that action. The monthly supports it because this month, because all price has been doing for the last four months out here, has been consolidating with inside its profiles, 2773 at support. That was hit about three months ago. And this month, resistance was hit at 3117. So that's what the profiles tell us. Now, there's a possibility that AT&T will bounce from here. And I'm taking a look at the daily time frame. And on the daily time frame, all price is really done today is pulled back to test the oscillator and change line, Stevie's green line at 30.69. If price remains above this, then you could easily see a bounce. Let's look at a 30-minute time frame chart. As support was being hit, what was AT&T doing? Should it's trying to form a Rhodes momentum indicator bottom as we speak right now? And if price can get above 30.79, you should at least see 31 bucks on it. If price doesn't get above 30.79 um, and price closes below 30.69, then that's going to tell you about that move back to that 29, perhaps that 29.90 area. Does all that stuff make sense to you, or what have I thrown out there as confusing? Does. I, I it, can clarify. It's uh, exactly what I was looking for. I didn't know what your uh, 
okay. your uh, oscillator and change line looks like uh, versus the stock. Um, so uh, that's pretty much what I was looking for. Okay. So the last piece of information I'll give you is on the weekly time frame. Last week, this formed bar number eight of a TD9 count. If AT&T closes this week above 3047, and you're at 3073, we're too early into the week to know, obviously. But if this closes above 3047, you'll have a valid TD9 count top in play out there. And uh, all that means at this stage here is just watch is watch those profile levels that we were looking at. And that 2990, 2981 is going to be your real key, key area on any kind of retracement, okay? Okay, very good. Malcolm, um, anything else I can do for you? Uh, well, no, that, that's the main thing right now. I just uh, wanted to, I spent a lot of time looking at it and <laughs> wanted to get your comments. Well, that's great. Hey, thanks so much for listening to the show, and thanks so much for calling, and I, I appreciate it very much. Okay, thank you very much. Bye you now. bet. That was Malcolm in San Francisco. We've got Gary in Buffalo, Michigan. Gary, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you doing today? Hey, great, Steve. How you How you been? Very good. Well, sort of. <laughs> yeah, I know the back thing. So yeah, the back um, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm going to send you an email. I've had back problems, so I got a great solution. So I'll send oh, you one tonight. Um, perfect. Uh, I got to tell you though, 100 uh, percent Italian uh, Merlots really work well. Come five o'clock. What about those Argentinian Merlots? <laughs> you know, I, I, I got turned on to um, to Italian wines about four years ago. And uh, I mean, there are some just some, like there's amazing wines everywhere. But I've really gotten the appreciation for uh, some some nice Italian Merlots. Oh, oh I love them. But anyway, well, my, you my niece is in Nuskin. Milan. I'll have to take care of you. You always take care of me. That newsletter rocks. So thank you for oh, all those plays you. you got going right now. There's some huge winners. I appreciate yes, yes. it. Uh, um, good, good. But, I, but you got my baby now, uh, my new skin company that I, I love, and uh, you know, way too much. Yes. <laughs> got to separate that, but I'm not. And I've been adding and adding along. You know, we talked about it when it would hit that 48, but I missed that, and it was around 50-ish when I got knocked out uh, with my some of my options because they were too near term on the last um, earnings thing. It wasn't the earnings; it was the one comment from the one um, analyst. Sure. But anyways, the bottom line, uh, it's got some amazing stuff going on. So I've been adding, adding, but I'm looking to make a big add now to some. I've been just buying the options right around the 50, 55. You know, okay. so if I, these earnings come out, I don't get killed again. Got it. So. so we're going to a break. Hold on through the break, uh, Gary. We'll come back and we'll explain why you might not want to add right this second. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right uh -huh. back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. 
Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, uh, folks. We're on the line with Gary in Michigan. We're taking a look at New Skin Enterprises, ticker symbols NUS. So, Gary, I'd mentioned before we went to that break that right this second is probably not the best time to add to the trade. Let me explain the reason why. First, on the trading day of, and I'll pull over my white background charts in a moment, but on the trading day of April 21st, that was bar number eight of a TD9 count. It did go ahead, and we do have a valid TD9 count pattern in play. That's the first thing. The second thing is price is sitting right at resistance, 54.87. You're printing 54.82 right now. 5487 is the top of the daily profile. Now, this is a new profile that formed a few days ago. The top of the profile remains the same. The bottom has uh, shifted a little bit, and the support area here is 52.22 to 52.88. I would prefer on a pullback, if you get one, to add to your position in that range, the 52.22, 52.88. Let's pull, pull over the – and on the weekly chart, things look pretty good. Price is above the top of the weekly profile. But the monthly chart says I've got a little bit more work to do, and it needs to close above 56 bucks. So I'll pull over my white background charts. We'll take a look, and here we will see the TD9 count pattern. This is not bearish because price has not been able to bust through any levels of support. So we're really neutral to, to bullish out here. So, Gary, even though I say, hey, don't add now, if price did close above the top of that TD9 count at 55.20 – even though you're paying a little bit more, at least then you have confirmation that a uh, topping pattern or signal has failed and price should continue to move higher. On a weekly time frame, as I take a look at this chart out here, you're also going to see that price is right up at resistance, the oscillator and change line. So it's kind of matching what we see on the daily that says just a little bit of caution here is warranted. A 30-minute time frame chart doesn't see any kind of caution, doesn't see any kind of a top. Um, yeah, doesn't see, I don't have that. I don't have any kind of a pattern out here for the 30 minute to really uh, help us navigate. But so I would say at this stage here right now at 144 in the afternoon, that's not the time to add to new skin based upon what we just looked at there. So what questions do you have based upon that information? Maybe I can clarify it a little bit further. Just one more, but I, I, excellent. I, that's what I wanted. I wanted the bullet points. Um, since I think you may have said it, and I'm maybe missed it, but did you give me the monthly, or since we're close to it, what we're looking at on the monthly chart? Yeah, so the monthly, the top of the profile is, and this has got a TD9 count monthly top. It's 50, it looks like $56 even, Stephen, 56 even, Stephen. So if price okay. can close above that, really, so the reality is, Gary, what price needs to close above on the monthly basis is the TD9 count top, which is 6385 and if we can do that, 82.85 is the uh, number. So even though the monthly has a TD9 count top, there's no key levels of support that have been broken just yet. So new skin looks good, but it looks – it's just you're, you're just at that stage where you're up at resistance that says, don't add here. Wait to see if you can get a pullback. And that 52, 52.22, 52.88, 51.85, those look like nice places to add to this position if you get that retracement. Great. Okay, awesome. You're the man. Thanks, Steve, for everything, and be well. You bet. Thanks so much for calling. Let's go out to uh, Seminole, Florida, and speak with Earl. 
Earl, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you today? Good. I'm doing good. Uh, I got a question. Uh, stock is FCX. Uh, actually, and my uh, question give, is, how much do you again. weight momentum in picking the an entry and an exit? And uh, what oscillate, what uh, chart oscillator do you use to measure that? Interesting. What was the symbol that you wanted? Earl, I apologize. I could not hear that. FCX, Frank Charles X-ray. Got it. So let's go take a look at Freeport MacMoran out here. FCX, is that correct? That's what you wanted? Yeah. Okay. So we take. So your question was momentum. Um, you know what? what uh, so first, are you in Freeport MacMoran? Yeah. Yes, I am. You, okay. So let, first, let's just take a look what Freeport MacMoran is doing. And right now, this has been in a nice consolidation pattern, and price is sitting right at the top of the consolidation. And that consolidation, yeah. you could see, it's, it's you know, is it 39.10? Is it uh, 39.04? It's right in that range. And so price is sitting in a consolidation. Now, the cool thing about this, Earl, is that if price were to bust through this consolidation, and I would say that would be a close above 39.10, then what that would do is that would give you a measured move equal to that consolidation pattern. We don't know if it will break it or not, but if it did, then that says that price should move in FCX up to about the 4676 level. So that's the first thing that I see from a pattern standpoint. There's the possibility that it'll break through that consolidation because on the daily time frame, yesterday was a nice wide-ranging bar that took out the top of the daily profile. And if price can close mm -hmm. today above 3844, its message, even though you're at the top of the consolidation, it's going to make an attempt to break through that consolidation. Does mm -hmm. that... For First, first, that's what I see when I take a look at the back, black background charts. With regard to the oscillator and change line, you asked about that. That is sitting right now at 37.12, and price is trading at 38.73. So 37.12-ish would be a level of support on some type of retracement. On a weekly time frame, the oscillator and change line is up at 37.90. Price is above that, so that's bullish. I don't see any kind of a topping... Um, pattern so to speak what the weekly chart tells us is that if price were to close above 39.10 it should be off to the races to the upside out there the 30 minute time frame chart. so what i use for for entry what i what i do is i run a scanner so we had gary on the line um uh just before you and he was talking uh -huh. about uh, the, the newsletter has many many trades because we finally have the scanner working and in that scanner what i'm looking for is i'm looking for a, a top or a bottom signal on a daily time frame and then what i'm looking for is the confirmation that there is a likely change in trend and the way that i do that is i go look at the short-term time frame charts and i break those time frame uh -huh. those short-term time frame charts into equal bars of the trading day so on an instrument like fcx in fact i'll just keep the fcx chart out here what you'll see along the bottom of my screen out here is a 30 minute uh -huh. a 65 minute a 130 and a 195 and when i start seeing changes uh -huh. on those then that gives us the signal that there's likely to be a a top or a bottom in play that's really the momentum is is just simply getting down to a level of support or resistance or up to a level of resistance on the daily time frame and then finding those short-term signals that give us the confirmation that some type of change has taken place we then use the profile levels that helps us to identify the battles on our battlefield our battlefield is really just the screen out there and so the profiles tell uh -huh. us where buyers and sellers are it doesn't tell us whether buyers or sellers will be able to defend their positions but at least we know where they're at and then an oscillator and change line, that helps us to understand the real momentum. If the oscillator and change line is green and price is above it, it's bullish. Uh, if price is red, if the oscillator and change line is red and price is below it, it's bearish. It's I it's I I, I know it might sound like a little bit of gibberish, but if you if you listen long enough, I try to maintain the same terminology for everything and try to keep it just as simple as, as that with regard to those tools out there. So does that answer your question? Is, the, is my question yes, to you. Yes, uh, you, you. Nice job on it. Thanks a lot. Okay. Well, perfect. Nice job. Perfect. Okay. So, hey, best of luck to you on Freeport MacMoran. I hope that it busts through this consolidation. If it doesn't, you've got to prepare for Freeport MacMoran to pull back to the 3140 level. So thanks so much for calling in, and uh, have a uh, great, uh, great Tuesday. Appreciate it. You bet. That was Earl in Seminole. Florida. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. Dow's down 21. S&P's off 2. We'll be right back.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Introducing Primal Edge. Today, it's even more important to take a supplement that complements your health. Primal Edge is specifically formulated to boost your immune system and help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Our early ancestors found all their nutritional requirements in the wild environment. But today our food sources don't contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients that we need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty and amino acids in an easy to use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated humic and fulvic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because like sunlight, air and water, without them life cannot exist. That's right, Ellen. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, just $89 exclusively at tfnn.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, uh, folks. So we're going to end the show with a little cup of joe, a little cup of uh, coffee. We're looking at the July contract out here. Earlier in the show, I believe there was a question from John the Tiger's Den asking if it looked like coffee was about to top out. So here's the July contract. And what we can see is I've drawn in an A to B equals CD to the upside. The A point out here that I'm using is back at the lows of November 4th of 2020. The B point is out here at the high on February 25th. And then the C point formed April the 5th. The 1 to 1 A to B equals CD gives us a price projection of 156.50. This move off the C to D leg and only a 57% retracement suggests that price will do more than a 1 to 1 A to B equals CD. Let's not worry about whether it will or it won't. At this stage here, if you're asking me where's the next level of resistance, it should be at about 147 and change. That's the 1.272 expansion of the last set of swing points. That last set of swing points, that was the B point and the C point out there. So that's what our TAS market profile charts tell us. If we pull over my white background charts, what we're going to see is yesterday was a very positive day for coffee. Not only did it take out um, a B point out here, it took out its TD9 breakdown level at 137.40. That is bullish. That's what the daily time frame chart shows us. The weekly time frame chart, no topping signal here. Very likely headed back to that 150 level. That's where that previous TD9 count on a weekly basis identified a top out there. The 30-minute time frame chart does show a road momentum indicator signal that took place at 12. 
30, 12, uh, yeah, about 1 o'clock, it looks like, uh, this afternoon. And uh, But, John, nothing has really broken here. There's no levels of support that have broken. So the daily and the weekly time frames for coffee say uh, you're going to pay a little bit more for your beans. Folks, thanks so much for being here. Thanks for the calls. Thanks for the request by uh, email. And uh, stay tuned for just simply two fabulous hours. Your favorite polar bear, David White, he is up next. Tom O'Brien to take us on home. I'll be back with you on wonderful Wednesday. Have a terrific Tuesday, folks. Take care. <laughs>